Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Zenosi ZWF 845 B4PW washing machine. And what I want to do today is to show you around the washer some of the features and benefits that it offers. But just before I start, I would appreciate it if you just subscribe to my YouTube channel, just click the thumbs up. What I do is I normally talk about things like household appliances, vacuum cleaners, there's normally a bit of tech in there as well. So just give us a quick subscribe, then we'll make a start. Now with this model of Zanussi washing machine, it has a maximum spin speed of 1400 spin, and I will show you around the display in a moment. Uh, but as far as the load size, it has a good family size 8 kilogram load. Uh, now what you can find is with some machines, as you get to around 8, 9, especially 10 kilogram machines, that they can be a little bit deeper. Uh, so as far as the dimensions on this machine, I will just show you that. So first of all, the width of it is just under 60 centimetres, or around 23 and a half inches. The heights are all pretty standard. So on this one, that you're looking around 85 centimetres, or about 33 and a half inches. But as I say, the main thing that varies with washing machines nowadays are the depth, so front to back. So I'll just show you the, so the depth on this machine uh, is around 50 centimetres if you were going just from the corner here. So again, it's around 50 centimetres or just under 20 inches. Or if you were including the door as well, because that's the, the deepest parts of the machine, then really, if, if you're looking at the install depth, then really you're looking around 58, 59 centimetres or around 23 inches. So just have a measure up to make sure that the machine fits. There's nothing worse than ordering the machine, then getting it home, then realising it doesn't fit. So as far as the front of the machine, uh, you've got the soap drawer on the left hand side, uh, you've got the main control dial in the middle, uh, when you turn that then it will turn the display on. Uh, I must say I'm really impressed with the display here, uh, it's a nice white LED display, nice and easy to read. Uh, some of the manufacturers choose different colours, um, other brands like Bosch tend to go with, with red, uh, Siemens tend to go with this kind of colour, the, the bright white which to be fair I, I really like that. Uh, so as far as the programs, you know, there, are, there are a good range of programs on here. Uh, the first one to look at is this one. This is the Eco 40 to 60, and this is a requirement on all washing machines. So you will find any washing machine that's available for sale at the moment of a current range, not of an old range, then it should have this program on it. And what this program does is it is designed to wash at 40 degrees. Uh, but it is really designed for clothes that you would normally wash in either 40 or 60 or anything in between. Uh, so as you can see, I mean this is showing the time on here uh, and this is showing three hours which to be fair is quite a long program. Uh, you have got an option on this machine uh, where you can allow something called flexi time and what this will do, this really depends on the soiling of the clothes in the machine. So if the clothes that you're washing are very dirty, uh, for example if you're washing uh, say football kits or rugby kits, then the, the longer program is probably the one to look at. If it's for an everyday wash, so if you've just worn something say once or twice, if it's not physically dirty, then you probably don't need the full three hours. And then you've got the, the flexi time on there that reduces it to around an hour and a half. Uh, you will find with this machine that it will actually adjust the wash time depending on the the load in there. So what it will do is it will send a certain amount of water through to start with and then what it will do is it will determine the wash by the amount of water that's been saturated and then it will know roughly how long to wash for. Uh, but what you'll find is that that's mainly applicable to some of the longer programs like this one, three hours. So don't be surprised if, if it shows three hours, it starts to count down and then it jumps by say 15-20 minutes um, because what it's doing is it's actually adjusting the wash time. Uh, as you go around, so you've got the, the main cotton program. Uh, so with these, so just to show you, so with the first program, you've got a temperature selector uh, that's limited, so you can only have it on 40 degrees, and that's the idea of that program. Uh, the idea of the eco program, and I suppose a lot of people uh, misunderstand eco, uh, thinking that it will be quick. Uh, but it's not really the case, it's really a case that economical means that it doesn't use as much water and electricity, so it costs you less. 
so the idea is that it will wash at this lower temperature uh, but it will take longer to wash. Uh, as you go around to the cotton program then you have got the ability to change the temperature. So with this one you can go all the way up to 90 degrees and as you can see it's still at the, the 3 hour mark there. And then as you come to some of the lower temperatures it does reduce the, the wash time. Uh, but if you, for example, if you're washing at say 20 degrees and then you press the flexi time you've got a couple of options on here. So it doesn't, it's not a two stage flexi time option. So as, as I showed just here, so it's two hours 45, then two hours 10, and then you've got 50 minutes. So it, it does vary, uh, I suppose, depending again on the soiling of the clothes. Really 50 minutes would be more of a, like a freshen up program. But for those first two programs, then you do have the ability to wash the clothes at a full eight kilograms. Uh, don't be under the illusion that all of these programs you can put a full load in. Uh, for example, as you come around to the synthetics, that one has a maximum load of three kilograms, so it's less than half a load. Uh, it's something I try and point out to people because a lot of people will just cram it full of, of washing, uh, and then they're not, and then they're surprised when the the washing performance isn't that great at the end, or it takes a lot longer than this. Uh, so again, as I mentioned earlier, it can reduce the wash time. But also what it can do is it can increase the wash time uh, beyond this time. Uh, that's really because it's detected that there might be, say, too many soot in the machine. Uh, also, if you've put too much washing in there for the program, then it just stays longer. So there, there isn't really a benefit. Uh, what you have also got, so I have mentioned the temperature. Uh, I've mentioned just the, the spin speed. So you can vary this. So depending on the program, so if we go back up to the cotton, you've got the full 1400, and then it goes down 1200, 1000, 800. You've got the no spin option, and that's if you just don't want it to spin at all, which are good for things like delicate fabrics. And then you've got the rinse hold option. Uh, what that will do, that will suspend the clothes in the final rinse water at the end of the program. Uh, that's a really good option if you've gone out. Uh, if you know you're gonna be out for several hours, uh, then what you can do is you can use that option. So when you come back, it will the clothes will be in the, the final rinse water. Uh, but then what you do is you just set it to a spin speed. So you just set it to, for example, the 1400 spin. It will spin away and then you can take the clothes out. And that's, that's a, quite a good option. Um, quite a few manufacturers have started to get rid of that option, the rinse hold. Uh, it's something that has been around for years, but I'm pleased to see that Zanussi have still kept it on their machines. Uh, so just going around, so you've got the Synthetics uh, Delicate program, and again with that one, that's only a two kilogram load, so it's quite a, quite a small load. Uh, that's really designed for things like acrylics, mixed fabrics, uh, or fabrics that need a gentler washing. Uh, and then as we come around, you've got the, the woolen program. Uh, you will find with some of these programs, that with the temperature you are limited to what you can select so with the woolen program that's a maximum of 40 degrees clearly you don't want to be washing your woolens at a high 60 or 90 degrees uh, and with the woolen program that's even smaller so we keep going down in low sizes we're down to one and a half kilograms now uh, you have got a couple of specialized programs things like the denim and sportswear uh, so with the denim program that has a maximum load of up to three kilograms and the same with the sportswear uh, And really with these these are designed the the way these programs wash is designed for things like the the denim items So if you've got quite a few pairs of jeans that you want to wash Then that's a, a good one to use and what they do is they actually changes the wash action uh, To try and get the benefit of washing it to make sure it's a good wash uh, you've got the option uh, just at the bottom here, things like the spin and drain and rinse and spin. So with this one, you can change the spin speed if you want to. So that's uh, that's on the, the rinse and spin. And it's quite, you know, a fairly quick program. I suppose it's not doing a, a huge amount. Uh, but clearly there's no, there's no temperature option because we're not heating the water up there. But at 23 minutes, that's quite a, a reasonable time. And of course with the spin and drain and the rinse programs, 
then you can wash a maximum of eight kilograms with those. Uh, as you come around to these, so you've got the, the last remaining programs, uh, so you've got something called dark colors. Uh, and again, with that one, you can wash the full eight kilograms. Uh, these are really designed for their cotton items or mixed fabrics in dark colors. That's really what that's designed for. Um, and they're really designed as normally soiled items. Uh, if they're heavily soiled, then I suppose we recommend coming around to one of these programs. Uh, you've got this program, so you've got something called the Clean Boost. Uh, and that's really designed to be a 60 degree program. Uh, so again, you can't change the temperature. Uh, you can alter the spin speed if you wanted to. So you can go up to the full 1400 spin. Uh, and really with this program, uh, this removes the microorganisms thanks to a washing phase with when the temperature is maintained at 60 degrees. Uh, it just maintains that for several minutes. Uh, and it just really helps to remove the germs, bacteria, microorganisms and particles. And what it will do towards the end of the program, it will add an additional rinse as well. Uh, that's why it's quite a, a long program on here. And really the advantage of the, the Clean Boost program, I suppose if you have got somebody in the household with things like sensitive skin, uh, then what it would do by adding, I suppose by washing at a slightly higher temperature and adding the extra rinse, it can just help to get rid of uh, things like excess detergent that might be there at the end of the program. So that's a, another good option. The 14 minute refresh wash, uh, this is almost at the other end of the scale. It's a, a much smaller program. So with this, it's only a 1.5 kilogram load, but that's really designed for lightly soiled clothes. So you definitely wouldn't use this if you got if you're washing your rugby kits. So it will only wash at 30 degrees. So if you try and change the temperature, then that doesn't work. Uh, and as far as the spin speed, then that has a maximum spin speed of up to 800. And then as you come around, you've got the 30 minute rapid wash. Uh, so with this one, that can go up to 40 degrees now. Uh, and as far as the spin speed, we worked our way up a little bit to the 1200. And as it shows, that's doing a load in 30 minutes. So with that one then you've got a maximum load of three kilograms. So we're, we're working our way up a little bit. And then as you go on to the final program, 60 minutes easy wash. And with this one, this has a maximum uh, temperature of 60 degrees. So I'll just show you that. Um, so what you can do is you can change it if you want to. So if you did want it on say 40 degrees, then you just press that. Uh, as it says, 60 minutes, so it is showing an hour on there. Uh, with these programs, they won't tend to change, so these won't tend to measure the amount of water coming in, they will just be fixed times that it will wash at. Uh, and with that, you can go all the way up to a 1400 spin, uh, which I'm, I'm pleased to see. Uh, I must say there's nothing worse than putting something on a quick wash and only spinning it at, say, 800 or 1000, because after that, it does feel like it needs to a bit of an extra spin, which you can do. So if you have, even if you've used the, say the 14 minute program, then if you needed to get more water out, then you can just pop it onto the spin and drain just to get a bit more water extracted out of the clothes. Uh, but with this program, so just going back to this one, this has a maximum load of up to five kilograms. Uh, so it's just over half a load. Um, with any of these programs, I would recommend using them on the odd occasion. Uh, you will find, if you talk to service engineers, it's not just Zanussi, uh, a lot of brands will say that don't always use these programs. I know it's tempting, you know, you've got a busy family life, you want to use this program a lot, and I assume some people will just end up using one of these programs, uh, but it's recommended to use them on the odd occasion. What you do need is, sometimes you do need some of these programs, really to things like keep the machine clean, um, and what it will do is by uh, by using these programs, then first of all it helps to clean the machine properly. Um, also if you're washing at much lower temperatures, say 20 or 30 degrees, then it is recommended to do what they call a maintenance wash. You'll find that doing a maintenance wash on the odd occasion will help to keep things like the drum clean, uh, especially things like the element uh, and also the, the rubber seal just around the door. So that's something I'd recommend, and quite a few manufacturers will recommend that as well. Uh, so I've already covered the flexi time option on the right hand side here. Uh, on this machine you have got the delay start. So if you've got 
uh, things like economy 7 or if you've got cheap electricity during the night then what you can do is you can actually delay the start of the machine now for some reason Zanussi have decided to go to the maximum of 20 hours uh, I'm not sure why 20 hours rather than 24 like pretty much all, all other brands uh, but as I say 20 and then it will just go back to the standard time of the program so that's a useful feature uh, you have got other options on the right hand side here so first of all you've got the pre-wash now that's something I'll be honest that not many people tend to talk about nowadays uh, I suppose again if you're going back to washing uh, say your rugby or football kits um, then that's that's still quite a good option but I think pre-wash isn't used as much as it used to be uh, you have got this one so with this this is called easy iron uh, and what it would do towards the end of the program uh, when it's washing and especially when it's rinsing and then spinning uh, you will find that it it will let's just get back to the yep so it's reduced the maximum spin speed of the program so it doesn't allow you to go over a thousand spin uh, so that's really a good one if you're going to do some ironing uh, if you have quite a few shirts to iron or blouses then uh, that could be a good one to use and um, what it does it just helps to reduce the creases in the clothes uh, by spinning too high so that's one option on there uh, you've got the extra rinse so again I suppose similar to the this program around here the clean boost if you've got somebody in the household with sensitive skin uh, and you just need to add an extra rinse at the end of the program then you've got the option on the right hand side here and then this one here so this is called night mode and what this will do uh, this I suppose is a good combination with the delay start so if you're going to have a turn overnight then what it will do is it will just get rid of the final spin speed and because it's got rid of the final spin speed then what it will do is it will actually reduce the noise of the machine that it's making during the night so you know that could be a good option for you uh, but that's only really relevant if you were going to use it overnight and then the final option uh, well first of all you have got the child lock on here so if you press those two buttons together then what that will do is that will just put a a little symbol up there and what that does that just stops little fingers coming along and playing with the display during the duration of the program and then to take it off all you do is you just press and hold those buttons again for normally about three seconds and then it takes it off uh, and to start the program you just press that button there clearly I'm not going to do it at the moment because I've not got anything in the machine you have also got the pause option that's also what that means uh, and really what what you've got the ability to do is to pause the program I suppose it, it's really designed if you shut the door set the program going press start you walk away you realize you've you've left a sock uh, and what you want to do is you want to try and put that sock back in the machine that's good if you can do it straight away uh, clearly if the water's gone above the door level then to be fair it's not really worth it because you'd have to drain the machine start again so I just wait to put the sock in for the next wash so as far as the door itself, it's nice and easy to open. you just got the handle on the right hand side there. Uh, I am pleased to see that Zanussi are still using metal door hinges and door catches. Um, it's something that on some brands they've decided to go with plastic um, or like nylon type of hinges and door catches. And to be fair, they're not as strong uh, and they are the things that tend to break. So I'm, I'm really pleased to see they're still sticking with the, the metal door catches and hinges. Uh, as far as the porthole on here, um, I'll be honest, it's not the biggest on the market. You're looking at 29 centimetres wide, uh, but it uh, still allows you good access to get the clothes in and out. So a couple of things to point out at the bottom. Uh, with this machine, it does actually come with a two-year guarantee. Uh, you can extend your guarantee to two years for free. Uh, all you need to do is just register it with Zanussi. Um, also on this side, it says no filter to clean. Now it's quite an interesting thing, and I will point this out. Uh, I would say pretty much all brands have some kind of filter. Uh, it could be, normally it's in that position at the bottom right. Some brands have them behind a flap, but that just allows you access to get any coins or uh, and any bits and bobs that have fallen out of your pockets. But Zanussi have decided not to go with this, uh, which again, I'm, I'm quite surprised with. Uh, but that's just something to point out that if you are going to buy this machine then you have to make sure that you empty the pockets before you start doing a wash. So sorry of the soap drawer. It's 
nice and easy to open. Uh, what you can do is you can take this out if you wanted to. Uh, what it recommends is push that on the right hand side there. Uh, when they're new they're always a little bit stiff so that's not to worry about. Uh, but I'll just show you this. So first of all you've got the softener on the right hand side and on the left hand side there's a couple of options. So it recommends to leave the flap up. So this is just a, a little flap. If you're using the powder detergent then leave the flap up. Um, and what that does is that will allow it to flow through to the, the wash at the right time. Uh, the other option is if you wanted to use liquid detergent then it's always recommended to put the flap down. Uh, I know some people tend to put the uh, the detergent in the machine. Uh, I think the normally the washing performance is better if you put it in here because you don't always want the detergent to be in the wash at the start of the wash. Uh, you, you want it to arrive at a certain point and that's the advantage of putting it within the soap drawer. But again, it's, I'm, I'm quite pleased with this. I think that's quite a, quite a good idea. And at least you've got the ability to take this out and give it a good clean if you want to. And then to put it back in, all you need to do is just locate that there. And then you're ready to go. So I know for some people it's not too relevant, but I just thought I'd quickly show you around the back of the machine. Uh, so first of all, you've got the water inlet hose that connects up to the top right here. Uh, as you can see, you do get a new hose with it. Uh, it is normally recommended to try and use the new hose. Um, unless you need an extended hose, then that's a different situation. Uh, as far as the, the waste outlet, as you can see, it's quite a, quite a good length on here. And that goes into the machine at the bottom left. And then the plug itself, you're looking just at the top here. I'll just quickly show you the energy rating on this. So as you can see, it is an E energy rating. Uh, now, I do mention it in a lot of my videos that don't be put off by some of these low letters that a lot of modern machines are, have been classified as. Uh, the energy ratings did change back in March 2021. Uh, so a lot of machines that were up here, they were an A or A+, plus as they used to be. Uh, now they're down into the E's and F's, but it's nothing to worry about. They are still very, very energy efficient. Uh, as you can see here at 83 kilowatt hours per 100 cycles, that is very good. Uh, it does show you some other information on here. So you've got 47 litres of water, and that's that's normally for the Eco 40 to 60 program uh, at three and a half hours. Um, it, again, it's showing it's a maximum load of eight kilograms. Uh, noise level at 78 decibels, which isn't too bad. And if you are thinking of buying one of these machines, I have provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price. I hope you enjoyed this quick video on the Zanussi ZWF 845B4PW washing machine. Bit of a mouthful, that model number. Uh, but all I normally do is please subscribe to my YouTube channel and leave any comments below on the video, whether you enjoyed it or not. Uh, if there's anything that you're not either not sure about, if you're thinking about buying the machine, pop it in the comments. If you have got one of these machines, uh, then let me know what you think. I'd always appreciate the feedback. Or if you've got a Zanussi washing machine uh, similar to this, because it is available in different spin speeds. Uh, there is the sister model to this, which is the 825, uh, which is the 1200 spin version. If you've got one of those machines, then put it in the comments. Let me know what you think about it, because I'd always appreciate the feedback. Thanks for watching.